You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate it. It is bin day, and not just any bin day. Here is a mixture of some of my items and then other items that I was asked to go through and see what they're worth to potentially sell. So they're technically not mine, but I do get to go through them and see what's there and what is worth selling. So kind of a different video. Now I do this for eBay site because I still do the eBay site. I just picked up a massive collection of American Girl dolls that I'm selling for somebody. It's 23, 24 different American Girl dolls with all of their clothes, all kinds of different sets that were just thrown in boxes that I was able to go through and uh, clean up, organize, and then figure out the best way to sell them. So now I want to go through this with you. There's some fun stuff in here. So let me move some stuff out of the way. I'll show you the stuff that's actually mine. Uh, it's only three items actually in this whole bin. The rest is something that I will end up probably selling. We shall see. Well, let's get started. All right, so the Lincoln Logs might be their own video, but I do want a quick check on those. All right, so here's something that I found at a thrift store. There should be a price on it. $1.99 from Housewares Home. It's the computer puzzle. Now, I looked online and I saw number one. So the, can there be one through 24, at least of these, beat the computer? You are a real genius if you can fit 24 pieces into the case within an hour. Over one, uh, one, two, three, one million ways to do it. How many can you do? Well, that would be a challenge, challenge if there's one million ways. The full instructions are enclosed. It's called Computer Puzzle in the Computer Age. This is puzzle number 24. Made in Japan. There's the instructions on it. So that one's pretty cool. Now these, I forgot if I showed these on video. Remind me. A magnetic football. I found this at a garage sale. It was complete. It's more of a travel game. From 1988. And then magnetic baseball for two players. This one also was complete. And I thought, oh yeah, these look cool. So I'll add them to... Either the travel games, pocket games, but you know what I'm trying to say. All right, so those three are items that I have picked up. I paid 50 cents each for these. And then you saw here, $1.99, which isn't bad for cool vintage items like that. All right, so let's move those off to the side. I do want to get to the ants and the pants because that's on top. Now, I've played this game. Maybe you have. It looks like, I don't know what this tag is on the side. So that shouldn't go there. It looks like some decal from something, Marine Land. I don't know what that is. Now, who hasn't played Ants in the Pants? Let me know. But we'll just take a quick look to see how many of the ants are here, because that's crucial whether or how this will be sold. The actual piece looks in pretty good shape. Let's see how many of the ants are here. Now, generally speaking, this definitely with the original box uh, from shopper manufacturing company i'm gonna say 70s i don't remember i've had this one before in my collection so let's just see so what does it come with do we know okay before showing how to play place the pants on the center of the table on each player then chooses four of the same color okay so so far it's looking good on that red that's a good sign this is a very good sign i'm starting to i can see right away just by looking that we're good Okay, so this game is definitely worth selling. Now you put your ants down on the tabletop and you push down on them. The buckles up there are to kind of make it harder to get them in. But once you get it, you get it. Ooh, shot over. Ants in the pants. There's other versions of this game. Other boxes, newer boxes. There, I wanted to get one in for you so you can see. All right, so let's get this out of the way. This is definitely worth reselling. I would do a quick eBay search. Everything looks okay. Just to see what they're going for original in the box with this version. And then go from there. That's all I did. Okay, so that is ants in the pants. All right, so let's check out the other game. This is the Wonderful Waterfall Basketball. I believe I have this one. Now, uh, the first thing I do when I check these out to see is if there is the second 
stopper on the top. And when I originally looked, I was very excited to see, because they usually always included a backup stopper. And then I don't know how old that water is. The game is very dirty. Uh, here's the back. I believe I have all of these now. If not, I will check. Now, when someone wants me to sell something for them, if I feel like, oh, I want to add it to my collection, I will pay the fair market value for it. So if I don't have this one, I would just buy it from them. And then you're not paying the eBay fees, the shipping and all that. So sometimes it's better. All right, so it's got old water in it. It's dirty. And you would score it this way, you know, score. Two, four, for the side. You can play against somebody. You take one side, they take the other, and you keep just blasting. Or you can play this one alone. Right now I can't play it because it is dirty. Now look at this top. It's all extremely dirty. Now this is kind of what happens to them. They get hard and crusty like that one. This one is soft and pliable, so it's nice to have that. All right, let me do this. Uh, well, let me take out this Nylant, Nylint truck. Now I wasn't going to take this to sell because I saw right away it's missing one of the most important pieces for this type of truck to sell. It is a crane. Right, these go for quite a bit, especially the age, if you can find a really old one. It's complete, original, nice condition, but it's missing the end hook that you would use to pick things up. And it's all, the string is here, it's just been uh, messed up. It's very fixable. Would I take the time to fix it? I could take the time to fix this. Looks like you push this in and pull it out to make this one work. This one just runs uh, the plastic, which would be considered the glass is good. So would I sell this? Yes, this would be a good parts item. I mean, these go can go for 20 to 100 bucks, depending how good. And some people, someone might want the tires, might want this piece, might want the glass to complete theirs. It all works. It looks nice. So this would be one that would definitely get listed, even though it's missing that key piece. Look at the front. It's all very nice. And this isn't broken off. A lot of times this is broken off. It says Nylint on the back. All right, so that's a keeper. All right, let me do this now. Let me grab the item that I thought also looked interesting for sale. This one here. I'm not familiar with a ground shaker. It looked cool. Just the overall dragster look. It's got both sets of pipes, they're not broken. I don't know what this does. I think that's it. I think you just run it along the ground. Looks like the body can come off. Oh, it lifts up. What I'm saying, I don't know what it does, is, is it a pullback? Oh, it's a pullback. Oh yeah, look at that. Holy cow, that really has some nice pullback action. So 19, 82 Fisher Price twice. The stickers, I don't know if they were originally put on like that or the person put them in. That's what research would do. So look at how these are all lined up. And they're little, well, they're almost exactly the same placement. This one here. Oh, so it looks like the whole body comes off. Let's just give it a I don't want to overstress that. Okay, this one is really cool. This will definitely sell. How much? I don't know. I'll have to research that. So let's just put this one up in the corner. Now the rest of this is filled with different vehicles. They're all very dirty. So a part of me trying to sell this is piecing what I have together and then cleaning it. Now, I don't always clean it. Depends how much work is involved. Made in the USA. I definitely look to see if anything's chipped or cracked. Let me just start sticking some of these out here so you can kind of get a better look at the collection. This one's got dirt in it. I've seen this one before. I've had this one. Maybe it even goes on the back of this hauler. I don't know. It looks like it would fit there really nice. Number 320. Okay, a little gas pump with tires. This one matches this one. Now this one has the tire on the front, so is it in the bin? I don't know. 
the Fisher Price plane. My guess is this would be five to ten bucks for each one. This looks like it matches this one or more. Okay, the pin is there. So that looks like a set. Okay, so what is this? It looks like some kind of dump bed. Okay, the Fisher Price helicopter. Now looking at this, there's been some chewing on the back blade. Is it fixable? I'm sure with the right tools, you'd have to drill this out and then come up with another option if you want it to be completely mint. The hook is good. How cool is that? Does this one turn too if you do anything? No, this is a free spinning prop, but it's not chewed on, so that's a good sign. Not chewed on is good. An interesting looking sub with claws. Oh, so that's the gripper claws. Uh, pretty neat. Fisher Price buggy with some kind of tie on it. I don't know what that's there for. I'm going to leave it because it looks like it's clamped on. Unless someone pulled this. Yep, they pulled this apart to put that on. So is that broken? I think so. So this is broken, but easily glued. Now, anytime I sell something and I make an alteration to glue it or anything, I always disclose that. You have to. Okay, look at this. This thing's pretty cool. This one's pretty beat up, though. So why is it not staying up? The Fisher Price. It looks like a cool doom buggy. All right. This is an interesting looking Formula One Fisher Price car, number 33. Is it a pullback? It's a something. No, it's a. It makes a sound when it rolls. All right, I think I'm running out of room here. Did you have any of these? Okay, so there's a Fisher Price. It looks like a parachute guy with a complete parachute. I don't know about this piece, but it looks cool, does it not? I'm running out of room. Running out of room. All right, this this attaches to something. It's the Ranger. Something attaches to this. Looks like you put your people up there, and it just cruises around. It has clicky wheels. All right, let me move all this out of the way and uh, show you the rest of the bin. As I was cleaning up, I was doing a quick search here. Now, see the little parachute guy and the green vehicle and the sub as part of the Fisher Price Adventure lot. Pontoon Ranger truck, 310 Sea Boat, 323 Sub Parachute. Now, I don't know if that all went together, but this person is selling it as a unit for $30 plus $12.45 in shipping. All right. So let me finish cleaning up. I just wanted to show you I'm doing a little bit of research off camera as I'm moving things around and then I'll show you the most impressive part is this massive bag of pieces so I will keep cleaning up and I will be back okay here is like a semi this is Playmobil now so not Fisher Price we have a mixture in here here's a jet and what is this one? This says Fisher Price, 1982. Looks like that opens. Very cool. The stickers are pretty messed up. Oh, here's that boat that looks like it was part of that other listing. Lots of junk in these. Makes a clicking sign when it rolls. Dirt and debris. There's a lot of cleanup that needs to happen. Now, that's an option. If you're going to sell, you have to decide. Do you want to do the cleanup or not? Sometimes... You don't have to, you just say sold as is, and people enjoy doing that themselves. It's part of collecting. They don't want you to maybe mess up a decal. Like if I try to clean this and I mess up the TV on the side, that wouldn't be good. So sometimes, look at that, that's cool. It's got a camera in here that slides in and out. It says TV. Okay, door closes in the back. Now what would the Fisher Price Mobile TV unit number 3094 go on eBay. Let us see. Fisher Price. 309 mobile TV truck. Let us see. 
So this guy's got it for this person has it for fourteen plus nineteen dollars to ship. Looks like there's a character with this one. So I would go to filter. Now there's ways to do this to save the filter, and you always can have that sold. None have sold in a while. Uh, this one sold for twelve ninety nine. This must be old or July. So that's the last time it sold for nineteen ninety nine. When it said none had sold, maybe it was the exact same search criteria, but they are obviously selling depending on what pieces you have and what characters you have. Okay, this is a Fisher Price pop up tent. This probably went to the other vehicle, one of the other vehicles. It just sits on top and becomes part of it. And then here's a boat with an engine in the back. It all looks really nice. I mean, it can clean up to near perfect. This is cool. Two kayaks on the top. Looks like the back opens, just like the mobile. It's pretty much the mobile van, but now it's the Fisher Price something. Beach cruiser, I don't know. Here's a miscellaneous rowboat. Someone chewed on it. That's what happens to these. I don't know. It's a very interesting chewable plastic, I guess. This is some kind of tent. It's in poor shape. Probably will not sell. Okay. I'm saving the bag for last. Now, this is some of the pieces. This piece looked like it went to the mobile TV set. So, we shall see. And this big truck. This might go to that red one in the back corner. The back. It's like a fire truck. It has one light. So, it could be. It's probably missing all kinds of pieces. Um, I don't know. How much time do you want to spend? It could be hours and hours and hours of work. This looks like I think it went to the helicopter. I don't remember. I've seen this before. And here's a ladder. Probably went to the fire truck. Another ladder to the fire truck. Some paddles. You probably go to these. There's another one of those straps, like on that other car. And then looks like a fire hose. I mean a uh, whatever. And then this, don't know what that is. It doesn't look, it looks too small to be anything for this. And then a little cap. And then that. This is what I really want to get into. Look, it's a bag of pieces and parts and people. So let's move all this out and we'll check this out. Okay, so there's grass and other things on my tabletop. So I would scrub the tabletop down after this video. Now I've kept those pieces out just because they're pieces. Let's just see. Another number 88. So that probably went with the other car. All right, so a little guy with a headset, probably a TV guy. This looks like some kind of basket that would go up and down, maybe on some type of crane, I don't know. It looks like it's gonna, yeah, this would unhook. And you can take that apart. Now, what went to the fire engine? What went to what set? It's how detailed as a seller do you want to be? How much do you want to take apart and figure out? Okay, it looks like a bumper piece. This guy definitely has nothing to do with uh, <laughs> that, but he's cool. I'll put him in my little animal collection. Now, things that I know for sure won't sell. He's got a really loose... He's got a loose head. Looser than this guy. Oh, he's kind of loose. Okay, so we have one of the race car drivers so far. Everything feels, I'd say, a little sticky, if that's what you want to say. The other race car driver, another. So we don't know which car he goes to. But having them is important when you're trying to sell. This is, looks like the bag for the parachute. A bag for something. Another piece of this fencing. Okay. A railing. We know that goes together. Little hooks and chairs. This looks like a fireman's piece. This looks like it goes over their back to carry things. We'll keep those together. I guess the fun part for, for me too is to find out, all right, how does this all relate? Another race car driver. This guy's in his really cool bell-bottom green pants. 
This was all in there, so I don't know. This looks like it's animal crates for creatures, doesn't it? Okay, another race car driver. And he matches that one. Now, if these were all mint in the box, there's a lot of money here. But they're not. Some kind of strap. I don't think it's anything to do with Fisher Price, but it's a cool belt. Another ladder to match that one. Another piece to go to this. Now, this uh, looks like shorts. Looks like a lady in shorts. First aid kit for someone's back. A little puppy, or a big puppy, a dog. I'll have to see. Okay, he's smelling his armpit, I don't know why. Looks like he's part of a beach set. Another race car driver, matches those. So we have three different kinds of race car drivers. This one has this kind of helmet, this one's got a full helmet, and these three kind of match. Now all of them have this arm that's bent in front. And you can't do anything else with it. So it's just the way maybe to hold something. I'm not sure. Some little thing. It's like a sleeping bag. This matches the white one. Be interesting to see what that goes to. This looks like a, like an, uh, like a sub. Oh, it's called a sea sled. Another nice little boat. A western kind of guy. You can go with that one. The dolphin. The dolphin is sticky. Sometimes this happens to plastic like this. It gets uh, sticky. Will that is it fixable? It is. You have to use a chemical and a lot of work to get that cleaned up, right? Okay, another barrel. Another one of these packs. Little silver piece. She's in a swimsuit. It looks like I don't know. No, maybe just the top. This guy looks like a racing guy. He matches this one. I don't know what they're racing. A gas can. Ooh, a tiger. He can go up there. A zebra. My fingers are sticky. A lion. So there must be some kind of safari, African safari with these guys. Let's just see. Let's do Fisher Price. Safari. Now watch, I'm just going to do Safari Vintage Set. Not going to overly populate the keywords. There it is. And looks like, based on what I see here, we have the car, we have that, we have the back camper piece, and three animals, different animals, but we have it. They want $90 for that set. Now, how much does that sell? So I go to filter. I go to sold. Shows 13 sell sales. This guy sold everything for $120. Uh, offer accepted. Now, there is a way to find out what that offer was. But you have to go around the system a little bit. It looks like we have most of this. Interesting. Even the bag. This bag goes with it. Very cool. He sold that for. This guy sold it for ten seventy seven for fifteen eighty shipping. Now the issue is, this guy, this person had it in his store. This person put it out to bids. Now when you put something out like this out to bid that's vintage, it depends how many people at the time are really looking for and want this item. So that's why they only got ten seventy seven. This person sold it in their store for sixty dollars. Uh, bids twenty seven. Store store so i don't put many things out the bids unless i know there's all an interest in it by a lot of people this would be a small group of collectors of this type of item okay another person another person person this looks like a scuba diver person with his arm stuck they all have that arm left arm like that i've never actually had these figures before to sell so they're all like that Okay, another lady with a with like a red cross. Another race car driver matches this one, so now we have two. Okay, another fold up little blanky thing. It looks like this just it's it's stretchy, and then it's like a sleeping bag maybe. No, yeah, 
It's a sleeping bag type thing. Okay, a little buoy. He looks like he's a mountain climber of sorts. Another barrel. And a few more, another pack, scuba pack. So maybe the scuba pack went on this guy so he can look through as he's scuba diving. A treasure type chest. And then another shoulder camera. Let's see. Yeah. And he bring his arm up. Maybe the other one. I don't know. Either way. That's that. That's that whole bag. All right, so let me get that back in the bag. Let's take a look. And the only thing we haven't taken a look at are the Lincoln logs. Let's take a quick look at those. Okay, I got that all cleaned up, and I was looking at the bottom of this, and it does say FP. And I would assume that's Fisher Price, Hong Kong. What do you think? At first, I didn't think Fisher Price because I'd never seen. Let's see. Fisher Price. Let's see. Fisher Price. Now, is it a squid? Is it an octopus? Someone tell me. Oh, right there. So it goes with that. We have the buoy. We have the ring. We do not have that dive outfit. They want $50 just for that. That doesn't mean they're going to get it. Now, you can look to see. You go back up to filter. Sold. Uh, since I didn't specifically put, it goes with this set. It looks like we have everything. All right, so it will sell. And I just need to, well, tell you what, I'm not going to take the time to clean up just because it's already a mess. And these look to be, I really don't know. Now, how would you go through this? Would you go through this as a seller? That's something you're going to have to really decide. This is the Frontiersman set. How many pieces? Ages 4 to 10. You get full log. Build all the structures illustrated and many more. Use your imagination to create. Well, I don't know what's in it. Let's just see. Well, this is a project and a half. Now it's got that vintage smell. So this one be a tough one for me. Let me just check if the time, the smell, is it worth it? So let's see. Play school. Lincoln Log. Frontiersman. F-R-O-N-T-I-E-R-S. Oh, I put a D. Set. Now my guess is 80s, 74. Oh well, I guess wrong. I don't necessarily collect these. So this person has $40. Okay, let's see if it sells. So again, go back up to your filters. Uh, sold. It's going to show you one result. So they got $20 for this set. Now you got to look at it. Look at the pictures and say, all right, is theirs better? Yeah, much better condition. And then you got to see if theirs is complete. And if yours is complete, you don't know. We don't have the instructions. Maybe they're in the other one. I don't know. And then they have $20 for shipping. And shipping has gone way up. A lot of the companies, uh, USPS, changed all of their shipping, by the way. They no longer offer something called first class packages. It's all different and it's really a pain. All right, so I'm not going to go through this anymore. Just knowing the fact that I don't have the instructions is an issue. So let me do this. Let me put this one back in the tin. Do you want to hear it? Because it kind of, yeah, it'll be fun. Loud and obnoxious. So, how what would you do? You'd have to sort out all the pieces, make sure you have all the pieces, 
or just sell it as is, unknown. Both of them, because you can ship both together in one big box. It'll probably be $20 to $30 to ship these two. Yeah, so the new shipping, which is no longer first class packages, is called, let me see if I can get to one of these items. <laughs> oh, I don't think I can quickly. Yeah. Maybe I'll just update, I'll update in the description how the shipping is going. It's just gotten a little out of hand. USPS. Let's just say everything's gone up. Okay, good luck getting this all back in now. I'm going to get what I can in here and then dump out the other one. Hopefully the other one has the instructions. Who knows, the person that owned this set might have owned both sets and they just combined them. So who knows now what's in it. This is a disaster. I will have to clean it up. Hard to see, but it is a mess. Now let's dump this one out. No instructions. And it has that vintagey smell. Now there are times I'll just leave it out and let it air out for a week or two before I do anything just to see if it helps the smell. It looks like both sets have about the same amount of pieces so it could be that they are both complete which I'll have to work out. All right let me clean this up come back and I'll wrap it up with you. Okay completely clean down hands were scrubbed really well I actually washed my face too as well. When you touch all that, you want to make sure that you wash up and clean down because you just never know what you're going to find in there. Bugs and other stuff uh, when you get uh, items in big bins like that. Now these for sure are items that I know would sell well, but I think the Beat the Computer, the Magnetic Football, Magnetic Baseball will stay in those game bins that I have and they will come out at some point in the future. And then I'll check on this because you know I have a huge collection of water games which I've never shown you. Ants in the Pants. I don't own this version, uh, but we'll see how that goes. And otherwise, this truck will definitely sell as is, even though it's missing the hook. And then you know, the Fisher Price and all of that will definitely sell. It's just how much time do you want to put into it? That's the thing. The more time you put into it, clean it, organize it, the more you will get. But it'll take longer uh, on the labor side of it than just saying, all right, let me just sell these 10 items in one big lot, get what I can, and move on. Those are the decisions you have to make. And thanks for watching. Hopefully help helped you in some way learn about this particular hobby. Uh, and as always, I appreciate you supporting the channel. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.